Hi campers! Camping's a whole lot of fun, yet there are certain rules we need to follow if we want to still have a national forest to camp in, and if we don't want to kill people or kill wildlife. Two rules. Most vital is never leave a campfire that is not cold dead out. And the way you get your campfire cold dead out is by dousing it with so much water and stirring that around and dousing more that it's so cold, wet, and dead out you can stick your hand in it and it feels cold and wet. Look at this. I'm passing by and I saw smoke. You're going to be able to see the smoke there too. That campfire turned out to be incredibly hot. You're going to see that in just a minute. Before I put that campfire out, I do a sweep and I don't see any other campfires in the other campfire rings, thank goodness. But there is trash all over the place. And that's the other thing. You pack in what you need and you pack out and take with you all of your trash every last bit of it leave no trace that you were there not at all see the smoldering campfire see that trash plastic and cardboard on the floor don't do that and look what they did what are they thinking damn it what kind of damn fools did this I don't have any more water, but I have the raging Rio Panasco Creek. So I'm going to go fill up my gallon jugs with that and continue to put it on there. And look at all this firewood right here. It is still not out. You can see how hot it is. You let a campfire burn down to ash is excellent, but then what you do is drown it in water. See how hot that is? I'm going to have to go and put even more gallons. I've been putting on tons of gallons. I'm going to have to put on more got to drown your campfire totally and you certainly don't put paper towels on top when you leave thinking oh well it's out you saw plain as day how that paper towel coffee filter whatever the heck it was was igniting so angry I could spit see uh, even though I've poured water on it it's still smoky it was just hot as fire and look here's how close the creek is Okay, finally, after 12 gallons of water, this thing is out. It took 12 gallons of water. And if I can do it, so can you. So could the campers. I am going to look at my dash cam when I get home to see who is camping here. I think I had my dash cam on when I was coming this way. I do not want this forest to burn down, and I know you all don't either. I'm going to presume that it's ignorance, but also we've got a real problem with people running around trashing the place up and not taking their trash. You need to take your trash with you. Pack in, pack out. Every last bit of your trash you need to take. Look at that. I really don't understand the mentality between uh, about leaving trash. I don't get that. Here they are on the dash cam. 30 minutes prior to when I found that smoldering campfire. So clearly they were 
packing up here. And they left without drowning their campfire and without taking their trash. Don't you do that.